when you get started, you want to keep your information organized. Think of it as like your home office, a filing cabinet that you have in your home office. What we're going to be doing is creating your filing system for your computer. I like to store my documents in a documents folder and usually your computer comes with a documents folder. So we're going to go down here to our start button and find our documents folder. Now you may have a different version of Windows, so you're, it may look a little bit different, but if you have Vista, it, it's going to look basically the same. So you click on Documents, and it'll open up your Documents folder, and what we're going to do is create a new folder within our Documents folder called Beachbody. So you'll do a right click, scroll down to New, and then over to Folder, and we're going to name this folder Beachbody. And the reason I don't save it on my desktop is that it, this, when you, when you have a lot of stuff on your desktop, it slows down your computer. So I like to keep it saved within my documents folder, and that way it kind of keeps your desktop clean. And you can see here that I have a getting started document within on my desktop that we're going to move here in a second. So we're going to double click on the Beachbody folder and then create subfolders. So within your filing cabinet you have a, a file named Beachbody, but within that Beachbody file you may want a new folder, um, maybe called uh, Important Documents. So we're going to right click again, hover over New, click on New, then click on Folder, and we're going to name this Uh, documents, or you can name it Imported Documents. So within that document folder, you may want a folder called Policies and Procedures. And just hit Enter, and you have that new folder. You may want to create a new folder called Getting Started and, and then that way as you're learning you'll have all your files saved in folders so that you can help your coaches if you need to email them anything. You'll have all those organized and you can even, even go to like Policies and Procedures and create another folder within that folder. Um, this might be uh, spamming rules, you know, or and then you could create another folder within that folder, but we won't go on. You can create as many folders and subfolders as you choose. But this is just to help keep you organized. So we're going back to our documents, um, our beach body folder, and within our documents folder within beach body, we have getting started. So now I have a getting started document saved on my desktop. What I'm going to do is just drag that over and that's now in my getting started folder that's in my Beachbody documents folder. So you can see the path here. You go to your start menu, you click on documents, then Beachbody, then your Beachbody document folder and then getting started and that file is right there. So that just helps you keep things organized as you're getting started so that you'll know where your documents and your information is that you want to access. And if you keep organized at the very beginning it makes life a lot easier.